My cat's eating my printer paper. Hey yo Blender fans out there, it's Eric Tobin coming at you with another Blender tutorial. And today I wanted to tell you a little bit about uh, Blender 2.74. The release candidate as release candidate 4 is now out. And I just wanted to uh, give you a quick overview of a few exciting features that I thought was pretty cool. And I'll just uh, kind of give you a little introduction here. Uh, first thing, I'm just going to dive right in here. Uh, I wanted to show you here is if you have um, your slide panel up here and you saw that by, you know, as always, by hand to end, you have uh, two options up here, two new options. You have depth of field and animal inclusion. Now you can see now I have depth of field turned on. Now you can finally see uh, depth of field rendered in your viewport as as you're working on, on models and things. So what I can do here is in the camera pane, you see, um, if I go and uh, you know turn that up and down here, you can see. We have real-time depth of view rendering here, which is way cool, I think. Uh, one thing you may not realize, though, um, for so those of you who have been playing with the uh, beta build on this, is um, now you can hit the E key, and uh, you can click on an object, and you see now you can quickly change where you want the focus of your scene to be. So I was like, that is way cool. Another thing I want to show you here is now they've added an uh, ambient occlusion to the uh, real-time display on the viewport. Um, so if you click on here, you'll see that'll be enabled. And you have a few settings here. You can turn it up. Uh, strength, uh, samples, what that'll do is that will allow, um, this shows how smooth or, or, uh, or grainy your ambient occlusion will be. Um, when it's rendered in the viewport. Pretty self-explanatory, I think. People have been doing uh, CG for a little bit. Um, another thing here, too, um, I'm back, going back to just real quick to the, uh, at the field portion in, in the settings here, camera settings, they also added this new high-quality mode here, too. So um, you can go on here and specify the number of blades um, for Broca. Uh, to render it inside your viewport. Now, now basically, what is what is Broca? Well, um, what that is is if you have um, a lot of blurriness in the background, um, Broca is how round or how many points are each in the, each of those little blurry bits. So, um, if you have like uh, 20 blades of Broca, the, then your blurry bits are going to be uh, rounded out and. Uh, in a nice little circle, but if you had like maybe four or uh, five blades of broke out, then your blurry bits are gonna be um, a little bit more uh, polygonal, you know, more jagged around the edges. Um, so that was the first thing I wanted to show you on this here. Uh, second thing I wanted to show you here is um, this new uh, 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 orphan data mode. Um, here in, in Blender, you see right here, I have an image here, and um, say for example, this image was consuming a large amount of RAM in my scene, and it wasn't being used anymore. Um, what you would normally have in that situation is you'd have an X here. So um, what we can do is now you can also orphan your own uh, data blocks by clicking on and off each data block here too. And after you've orphaned a data block here also, you can um, purge your data blocks. And you see there, now it's gone, and now that memory is freed up. So that is also way cool. Um, the final thing I wanted to show you here that I discovered is in groups. So you see here, I have a few groups set up. And this is a small little tweak, but very cool nonetheless, I think. Uh, you can take a item in a group, like so, and now you can drag and drop it onto another group. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, I see Zara there. Mine, um... Anyway, that is, uh, way cool, I think. Let's see, I can, uh... Move it in and out. But anyway, um... That's another uh, neat little feature. But anyway, um, I will be keeping you posted with more tutorials and more updates on Blender 2.74. And um, if you like this series, uh, please like it, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. See right there? Render that fast. Make my nonsense real. You know you can do it.